Last week, I challenged you to model this vase, and to no surprise, you all did a superb job. Here's how I do it. Start with the cylinder. Change the verts to 17, the cap fill type to none, and move the cylinder up by one along the z-axis. In edit mode, add three loop cuts, use Control F to poke the faces, and then use Alt and J to convert the tries to quads. Select the topmost middle triangle, and select the rest of the faces in that strip. Use Control I to invert the selection, and delete the rest of the faces. Use Control F to poke the faces again, select the middle vert of the bottom triangle, and then Shift select the middle vert of the first diamond and hold Control Shift and Plus to repeat that selection pattern. Use Alt and S to give a bit of depth to the inner verts, Control and I to invert the selection and add a crease to the outer edges. Set the 3D cursor to the topmost edge, bring in a circle, change the vert count to 16, delete the bottom half, scale to roughly fit along the edge and merge the verts. Add an inset to the face and add a slight rotation along the X axis. Set the 3D cursor to selected and add in an empty axis. Add an array modifier to the model, changing from relative offset to object object offset, using the empty as the target object, enable merge and enable first and last copies. Select the empty, open the end panel and set the Z rotation to 360 divided by 17 and change the array count to 17. Back in edit mode, extrude the rightmost vertex until you see it merge and adjust on the Y axis to keep the semicircle faces flat. Extrude the tops of the semicircle edges up to form the top, bring in an empty axis and add a cast modifier to the vase. Disable the Z axis, set the object to the second empty and enable the transform to give the vase more shape. Finally, extrude and scale to create the inside and fill in the base of the vase to wrap up the model. You can find the full tutorial and explanation on my YouTube channel.